Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we'll be looking at isometric. You see, isometric is a 3D view. That is three-dimensional view whereby you be able to see three sides at the same time, right? So, for instance, if I have this now, if you look at this diagram here that I drew here. We say this is an isometric. If two condition or three condition is fulfilled, the first condition is that what the angle at which it is being drawn was the what thirty degree. This angle was the what thirty degree. And the other thing you need to know is that what you are seeing three sides. I have A, I have B, and I have C. So as I can see these three things at the same time, and it is inclined at what, 30 degree to the horizontal, you see such a drawing is in what, isometric. So we do call it a three-dimensional view, a 3D, three-dimensional view. So when you want to draw isometric, the first thing you have to do is to get your T-square. This is my T-square here, right? Then the next thing you have to do is to draw, is to get your C-square, this is your C-square. What we're using more your set square will be the 30 degree side, this side here. So, the first thing you do is this. You draw your horizontal line like this. You draw your horizontal line like this. Can you see that? That's the first thing you do. Now, the next thing you do, you know when this guy is standing straight ahead like this? This is what? This is... 90. Can you see that? This vertical line is what? Is 90. Now, the next thing you do again is drawing your horizontal line, as in your 30 degree. So if I place it on my T square like this, if I place it on my T square like this, hmm, I'll be able to draw my 30 degree. So at this instance here, this is 30, right? And I'll turn it the other way around like this. And I'm going to have another 30. That is 30. So the angle in between here and here, the angle between here is what? Is 30 degree. And the angle between here is also what? 30 degree. That is the first condition here. Now you need to understand. When I do this figure, right, we have three particular points you need to understand. This side here mm, is the length. Right? That means this side here is the length. Let me assume that our length is equal to what? 40 millimeter. Let me assume. So, if it's 40 millimeter, then this point here is zero. This is our initial point where we start measuring from. So if I want to measure 40, if I take my instrument, my ru ruler, and I place it at this point zero here, let me show you. I place it at my zero here, and I measure 40. So from zero to four, is 40 right I can tick in it since I know from here to here is 40 so that is 40 so we'll call that part the what the length now the other part we need to understand again is this the other part we need to understand here again is this here in the figure it's called what? The width. The width is at this side. Here is the length. Here is the width. The width is at this side. So let me assume that my width, W, is equal to what? 50. So I'll measure my 50 from 0. I'm taking my measurement from this point here. So from 0 here, let me show you. So from this point, I'll measure 0. To what 50 
this is my 50.50 here and I'm going to thicken it so if I thicken it that is my 50 so this is my width then the other thing you need to understand is that the zone top at this is what the height so let me assume that my height is giving us what 60 millimeter so I'll take my rule I'll place it at the center here right from zero from here I'll measure 60 so in doing that I'll take my T square hmm, and I'll move it to that point 60 here can you see the height and I'll draw my horizontal line here like this just faint line this is what I'm doing now all these points that I'm having here this end of this point I will use my T square and my C square I will stand it on my T square this way can you see I'm standing it and I'm going to move it to that point this first point here Hmm? I'm going to take it up with my faint line. The first one, I'll take it up to the other point again. I'm going to take it up. The second one here. Can you see that? It increases and you increase this as the height. Now remember this point here that we measured. I will use my 30 degree. Put my C square or my rule this or my or my t C square my T square this way. And I'm going to drive it and move it to that point, this point here. And I'm going to draw my line such that if I draw it, it will touch the other guy here. Then I'll turn it the other way around too, like this. Take it to this point also. I'll place it here. And I'm going to draw this at this point. So I'm using 30 degrees. So if you notice now, this point also is what? 30 degree. This point also is what? 30 degree. Right? Now, at this point too, and at this point too, I'm going to move my T square to those points. Look at what I'm doing. I'm moving to this point. The first point is this. I'm going to draw my horizontal line here, faint line. I'll go to the next point too. I'll draw my horizontal line here, faint line. Right? So I'll take my T square and my C square, place it on my T square here, and start moving the C square to this point. I'll do my 30 degree here too. Place it at this point and I'll draw my line this way. Right? And I'll turn it to. If I turn it to at this point too, I'll do the same thing. But here it's like it's going out. So I'll ignore this side, I'll no rule here. I'll go to the other point too. I'll do the same thing here too. I'll draw this. Now if I draw it automatically, it is cutting this part. Automatically it's cutting this part here. Can you see? It's cutting here so that automatically if I want to do the other CC aspect also here and then 30 degree here so if you notice it the angle between here and here is 30 here also is 30 angle between here and here is 30 here also is 30 so what I'm trying is that, that isometric is used to angle of isometric your 30 and what your 90 so if I should take in this drawing I'll be having something like this 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 Now, also, if I take in here also, from this point to this point, 
or something like this and here too by taking here I'll go for something like this if I take in here I'll be having something like this so this is what I brought out so the nutshell what I'm just trying to educate you on is that we are symmetric is built on what 30 degree all the angles in symmetric is 30 all the angles are what 30 so thank you very much for watching in our next video we we'll look at different shapes and sizes on how we can replicate drawing or manipulate drawings and so on and so forth thank you very much for watching